Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Sagittarius for the month of August. It is a general reading, so it will not resonate with each and every one of you who are watching. If this does not sound like your story, check your moon and your rising sign. Your messages could be there. If not, check back in the following week when I put out a new message for your sign. So what I see here is um, at the root here of this problem, there was an argument, and I see the argument over here also. Um, this had to do with uh, a decision um, that did not feel so good to one party. Um, about a second chance or, or forgiveness or giving a second chance to something Somebody could have made a very harsh uh, decision or spoken, said something harshly. Why did this happen? We see that there was romance in the air, a chance uh, for something new to start up with the crib. Uh, yes, and the peacock, someone's pride, they may, uh, <clears throat> somebody felt that there was um, maybe some manipulation on one side or that things weren't fair, um, they felt like maybe, uh, because we got the club here. The club is um, someone trying to make you do something against your will, basically. <laughs> so there was something that uh, you may have wanted them to do, but maybe they were not open to it or um, didn't want to. Um, and maybe this is just how they felt and what they believed. Yeah, because I see other things here um, with the skull and the feather, the mountain, that there were, they felt that there was a huge obstacle um, between you, um, that somebody uh, was hiding something that could possibly harm them, that uh, that somebody was being insincere with the feather, um, and that they couldn't really depend or rely uh, upon this, uh, upon you, or it, it's the other way around. These energies can be uh, vice versa. It was just like this huge mountain to overcome. And maybe this person, uh, maybe it's simply their pride that got in the way. You could be feeling very frustrated with this person. You may have been waiting. Um, I, I feel like somebody cut the communication um, because in here's the mountain over here. This is the obstacle to get over, right? And here we see the sword is stuck in the in the mountain. So it's like a, something came out that was not. Uh, that did not feel good. There could have been harsh words spoken. There was most definitely some upset here. We have a disagreement here. So somebody was not in agreement uh, with you possibly here. And um, this is like the duel. So this is uh, two people <laughs> dueling, but only one person wins, it says. But I kind of feel like um, it was more like a temporary win. Someone here is frustrated, um, and and um, I feel as the person who was on the other end of that sword, uh, who feels frustrated, um, maybe having to uh, face fears that perhaps they didn't want to look at with regards to the relationship. Um, 
someone may have uh, overstepped their bounds or somebody uh, felt that they were going to uh, cross boundaries. Here we see uh, preparation. Somebody's in preparation uh, to, uh, to face fears with regards to, or face truths and fears uh, with regards to a commitment that they had desired. And it's like, uh, you see, this person is unhappy with, or was unhappy with an offer that was presented from the past, represented by the the skeletal hand here who's holding a cup and so they they want it but it wasn't the the cup that they desired or maybe they didn't get their way possibly they weren't happy with the options and and uh, we see that in these cards down here probably for different reasons they struggle with that offer and here it is um, with the Knight of Cups and the Moon maybe fearing deception or just too many fears surrounding that relationship information that that they couldn't see you know So it's like they withdraw, maybe uh, leaving, uh, <laughs> they make the slice with the sword and then they withdraw, feeling very victorious in the moment, but in, in hindsight, maybe regretting having done that. And I feel like they were in the Nine of Cups for quite some time. Um, in this card, it speaks to drunkenness. Okay, it's not like the regular tarot at all. It's drowning one's sorrows. Down in the dumps, it's like self-pity. Uh, somebody nursing a broken heart. Um, somebody staying in a, you know, an unhappy emotional place. And this card would have been saying, um, because it it is in the reverse, but I have to read the upright first because it came before. If you're unhappy, set the cup down and walk away. You have the power to change things, you know, but, but this person has to choose to do so. So um, I feel that they actually choose to get out of that happy place to maybe... Um, make the necessary changes because this is how they were. They were they were sitting here and just sulking and staring at the offer, wanting it but not moving towards it. Okay, but we see uh, that they come out of this state or this emotional state. We see here with the Four of Wands. Um, well, the Four of Wands. <laughs> Again, this is a very different deck. Um, so it's like a discovery. Um, in this deck, in the three, we have to go backwards to the three. Uh, Raven, who's the fool, is going down the stairway with her candelabra looking for the disturbance. Okay, what caused a disturbance? Here, we move from the three to the four, where whatever caused a disturbance is discovered. So maybe this person discovers what was keeping them here and decides to change it. Or maybe this is a discovery that will come to you as to why they did what they did. So for the other person, depending who's who here, 
I've got fire all over this reading. So you could be dealing with another fire sign. doesn't have to be, uh, but it's just, just king, queen, knight. Um, the high priestess is somebody who holds some hidden uh, knowledge or hidden knowledge is given because we also have spiritual uh, development, enlightenment here, awareness and an understanding. Communication that is coming, maybe deep inside you felt always that this was coming. And here it comes, this person down here decides to make that change, to take control, and here they are coming towards to meet. But she does not yet have this news and she fears that, um, uh, that her, her thoughts, because her desires, which was uh, for, for this person to come in and kind of uh, sweep, her, sweep her off her feet, you know, she uh, feels like, you know, she has desire because she carries the flame of attraction. So, and, but she fears with the devil that it won't happen, you know, that things won't go the way that she desires uh, because of what happened here, that uh, she will not move forward that with this person. These fears coming out of the dark, she fears an ending. What we see is although she might be feeling that way, we already know that he decides to make the change to come out of that, okay, um, place, unhappy emotional place where he was um, because he was unhappy with the current or the, the, the past offer. But we see the transformation with the butterfly. Now, depending who's who, I feel uh, like the enlightenment came to this person. There was some type of awareness, understanding, development spiritually for this person. We see the transformation happening with the butterfly and we see with the staff that this, is, uh, this person is being guided okay, towards a goal. They've been through this journey um, with the elephant. It would have taken a long time. And um, this journey, this was a mental journey that left them wiser at the end. It had to happen, you know. But you will be getting good news um, and you have the carrot, excellent, lucky card, speaking to an opportunity or a windfall. So I feel like there is good news of another opportunity. Whatever uh, sent that person off um, uh, that, that kind of made them run, uh, they have resolved this or resolved feelings, or now uh, understand, there's like a, a deeper understanding that changes things. You have the rainbow. And so, um, again, I, I have to go back here to this person uh, because it speaks to, um, it talks about uh, the difficult part or the most difficult part of the journey as being over or done. And that was for someone 
to get this understanding, to get this awareness. Because without that, this would not move forward. And so it needed to happen. And at some depth, you knew that you would get communication from that person. Maybe there were times when you did not want to believe it out of fear or that you, you lost uh, some belief in it because of fear, but it was always kind of there. It's, it's like that inner knowing, um, but sometimes, you know, the, the fear can kind of crowd it out. In your love oracles, oh, we have this card of reflection here, and it speaks to um, giving each other space for the moment and to trust and have faith that all will work out for the best. You have trust over here. Transformation occurs through acceptance. Once you accept the current situation, it will automatically transform. And healing. Imagine yourself and your beloved surrounded by light. Feel your relationship being healed this very moment. I thank you for watching, for liking and sharing my videos and for subscribing. Also, thank you to everyone who has sent in a donation. It is greatly appreciated. Many blessings to you.